hey it's cassie and today is a little bit of an unconventional video i am going to show you how to make a project but first i want to show you this window behind me so this is so this is the window uh next to my front door as you can see here's my front door and it's a very long window so what I'm going to do is take some matte Duralar on a roll and cover this entire window and make a really fun design. So let's go to the craft room and do that together. Okay, so now I'm at my desk. I have alcohol ink and I have 91% isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle. I have a little blowing tool from Tim Holtz to blow the alcohol ink around and I'm going to decorate this in all alcohol ink. Just random everywhere, okay? So um, I've cut the um, matte Duralar roll down to size. Remember I measured it at the, mirror, at the window so that I would know um, pretty precisely how long it needs to be and how wide it needs to be. And then when I go to stick it on the wall, or on the window, excuse me, I'm gonna bring a straight edge um, craft knife with me to make sure it lines up exactly. So I've cut it a little bit wider than it needs to be just to make sure uh, it's the right size when it when I install it, okay? So I'm just going to, because this is really long, right? I'm gonna work on a section at a time and then roll it and work and roll it and work. So um, <clears throat> I'll probably fast forward through that part so you can see the whole process, but you don't have to sit through all of that. So that's really all I'm gonna do. I will, I will talk through this first section um, just so you can see what I'm doing, but then know that I'm doing pretty much that same technique for the whole piece. Okay, so let's get started. So we've got our roll of Matt Durler. It's all cut down. I've got all my colors. I'm using Bria Reese alcohol ink today, but you could use any kind of alcohol ink that works for you. Uh, I have blush and medium magenta. And I also have Kelly Green and Turquoise. So these colors work great for me. They're also going to probably blend a little, make maybe make some purple in there. Uh, and I think it will look great next to my teal front door. All right, let's get going. So I'm going to start with the pinks. And since I'm doing a whole really long piece, you know, it's just going to be sort of random. Um, I mean, I am keeping in mind you know, having a flow and a mix of the colors as I go through. But honestly, to start here, it's just gonna be um, just sort of getting some color down onto the surface and moving it around uh, again. I've got, a, I've got a long way to go here. So uh, just starting with the warmer pink colors and then adding some green, adding some turquoise. And I'm just, <clears throat> Um, put you know spritzing down and then I'm using my this blowing tool just to kind of move it around a little bit um, and then also going to come back in with some turquoise Okay, so I have covered this entire thing with alcohol ink. It is still kind of drying, so I'm gonna let it dry fully, and then I will go put it on my mirror, or excuse me, on the glass by the front door, but I just wanna show you the whole thing. And I kind of just shifted from like the pinks to the greens and turquoise, pinks, greens and turquoise, and went back and forth so that the pink and the green didn't mix too much because that kind of makes brown, right? And, um, and I really just like the transition back and forth, and I let it be, kind of, well, not kind of, very organic. Um, I added some of this alcohol. Um, this is 91% isopropyl alcohol. I just kind of sp splattered it here and there to get some of these dots because I really like that sort of texture that it creates and distressiness. And then, um, so I'm gonna let this dry after I show it to you here. And then we will go put it up on the, um, the glass and we'll see what it looks like. Um, so I'm just showing you, look at how long it is. It's so long. This is the longest piece of alcohol ink art I've ever made. So I'm really excited about it. It turned out great. I think it's fantastic. 
Um, so from the outside, just so you know, when I go put this up on the window, the outside is going to see this because this is going to be against the glass, so it's protected. Um, and so everyone from the outside will see this vibrant color as they go by or when they come to the door. But then on the inside, inside the house, it's going to be a more muted um, side. It is still really beautiful and colorful. It's just a bit more muted. So that's what it's going to look like from the inside. And of course, I will post photos of the inside and the outside once it's all hung up and ready to go. Um, so there we go. I mean, it's, it's really large, but it really didn't take that long to cover this whole thing. And I just did it in sections at a time. And, uh, so I'm really excited. So we'll see you back at the window. Okay. I'm back at the window. I have some double tack mounting film here that I've cut into a strip that fits the width. You can see, uh, fits the width of the window. So I'm going to put one at the top and one at the bottom, and then maybe a couple of, um, thinner strips along the edges on the side. I don't want it to be visible, but I definitely want it to hold it in place. So that's what I'll do right now. Okay, here we are. Look at this beauty. Oh, I'm so excited. So you just have to pick what you want to be the top or the bottom. And remember the side that has the alcohol ink on it is going to be facing out. Okay. But you'll see, you'll notice when I put it up to this window on the inside, it's still really vibrant really really amazing and um, that's because the light is shining through it and it's just going to look like a stained glass kind of piece which is what i'm going for so i've got the alcohol ink side going on the window all right so first thing i need to do is peel up the double tack mounting film so now it's just sticky up there okay and i've got one side of this that's perfectly straight because it was the edge of the roll. So I'm gonna work from that side and then I'll trim the other side as needed. So I'm just gonna line this up right in the corner and make sure that this lines up all the way up before I stick it down anywhere. Okay, so once you're happy with the placement and you feel like it's going right up to the edge, of your frame all the way down. Then I'm gonna peel the bottom and then I'm gonna poke back this one side so I can peel the double tack mounting film on the sides and make sure that all of that is lined up and stuck down really well. I'm gonna take a craft knife, okay, and very carefully I'm going to just cut down the edge this side of the edge to make sure um, that it's flush with the frame of the window. Okay, so now it is complete. Look at this. This is the reverse side of the um, the matte duralar. Now I'm going to take you outside so you can see it from the outside, but look at how beautiful that is from both sides. Now there's street noise here and a glare, but I just want you to see from the outside. This is what you see from the outside. 